Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you and the first question is the appearance of traits expressed by the genes in association with environmental influence is referred to as organisms and you have to choose the correct answer answer A genome genome is basically uh, genetic composition of uh, our nucleus or nucleus of any species this term was proposed about 100 years ago in 1920s by German scientists and at the beginning it was uh, meaning some um, abstract uh, genetic composition of the cell. But now we can use this word uh, with slightly different meanings depending on the topic we are talking about. For example, there can be reference genome, as you know, about uh, 15 or 17 years ago, uh, human genome have been sequenced and now uh, scientists make um, idealized human genome. Uh, meaning, for example, I have um, over 23,000 genes. In some genes I may have mutations and other person also would have uh, the same genes but uh, would have mutations in the different um, loci or different places in the genome. So uh, idealized genome, reference genome would be such a genome that uh, would have an uh, ideal sequence of each gene or if each gene would have many alleles, those uh, alleles would be used for reference genome that uh, the sequence would be prevailing in the population. We also may say that we have two genomes, one genome would be nucleus genome, another one would be mitochondrial genome. And plants has three genomes, nucleus genome, chloroplast genome and mitochondrial genome. So uh, next is karyotype and karyotype basically is what you can see on this picture. This is nucleus. And this is chromosomes that we can find in the nucleus. And then, with the aid of the computer, we organize these chromosomes in chromosomes pairs. And uh, looking at the karyotype, which we call uh, this organized chromosomes karyotype, we can say if some, for example, um, chromosomes has deletions or exchange the arms, or, for example, if, uh, say, chromosome 21 is present in three copies that uh, would lead to such a genetic disorder that we call um, trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. So many, many genetic disorders we can analyze just looking at karyotype. And next uh, variant of the answer, phenotype. So phenotype is uh, genotype plus environmental influence. So phenotype is appearance of traits expressed by the genes plus environmental influence. So the correct answer would be answer C. And what the example might be, imagine that uh, your genotype produce fair light skin but uh, if you would be exposed to ultraviolet, uh, your skin would turn dark. Many our traits uh, follow this rule. For example, uh, you may be overweight, but if you would eat a small uh, amount of food and if you would extensively exercise, uh, you still would look lean and vice versa. If you for example, uh, your genetic makeup and all your relatives are lean. But if you, for example, would uh, eat excessive amount of food and uh, stay at home, sitting for hours uh, on your computer, of course you would gain uh, extra weight. So all this would be examples of phenotype. So, but uh, sometimes uh, some our uh, traits are not uh, influenced by uh, environment. For example, uh, ABO blood group system. So uh, whether you A blood or 
B blood or AB blood, it uh, wouldn't be influenced by environment, only by your genes. So, uh, I still want to give uh, define these two terms also. So, genotype would be uh, genetic makeup. Uh, basically, this would be four bases, A, T, C, and G, that uh, make our uh, genome the first answer. But uh, in uh, when we talk about genotype, we talk about uh, some particular sequence in some locus, usually. There can be multiply lo loci, and we can say that um, some person may be homozygous dominant in one loci, heterozygous or homozygous recessive. Or we can say that uh, this cross of two genotypes, one would be homozygous dominant for the gene A, heterozygous for the gene B, and homozygous recessive for the gene C, and we cross with another genotype that is homozygous recessive for the gene A, homozygous recessive for the gene B, and homozygous dominant for the gene C. So this would be example of uh, what we call genotype. And answer E, prototype, this term not from the genetics, but we use this word in order to refer usually to some electronic device uh, or uh, equipment that is uh, in early stage of development and not uh, mass produced yet. So next question, a man uh, with blood type A and woman with blood type B could uh, never produce a child with blood type and we have to choose uh, which blood type uh, these two people cannot produce. So basically if a woman uh, or man uh, belong to the blood group A, uh, he can belong to the two genotypes AA and AO. If female belong to the blood group B, her genotype can be whether B, B or B, O. So, of course, uh, these two genotypes would produce more variants in their progeny, so let's assume that uh, male belong to the blood group A and genotype is AO, and female belong to the blood group B and genotype is BO. So, when we build a Punnett square, we can predict what genotypes and phenotypes possible in the progeny. So, AB blood group AB, BO means blood group B, AO means blood group A, and OO means blood group O. So, let's check. Blood group A, yes, they uh, can produce. Uh, blood group B, yes, they may have children who is going to be blood group B. Blood group AB, yes, they may have children with blood group AB, and yes, they may have children who would belong to the blood group O. But I want to remind you our question, uh, what type, a blood type, they never can produce uh, in their children. And as you see, the correct answer would be answer E, none of the above. So, they may have children that would belong to all four blood groups in the ABO blood group system. So our choice would be E. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions. If you have any, share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.